Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about process modeling using Salonis tool. First, we need to know about process modeling. Business process modeling is the graphical representation of a company's business processes or workflows that helps to identify potential process flow improvements. As it is a graphical representation, it helps to visualize workflow of end-to-end -end process and helps to identify potential bottlenecks and inefficiencies in the workflow. There are two different states of process. One is as is, and the other is to be. As is indicates the initial state of the process and to be represents the future state. Business process model and notation, BPMN 2.0, is an open standard notation system based on flowchart technique to model the business processes. It uses geometric shapes to communicate the flow of the process. Now, to explain the benefits of business process modeling in a nutshell, it improves efficiency as it helps to improve business process by helping business workers to be more productive as it gains transparency with graphical representation of end-to-end -end process. We can ensure best practices by ensuring consistency and standardization across the organization. There are two different ways of modeling in Salonis. Number one, manual. And number two, by importing the existing model in BPMN format. Now, I'm going to show the demo of how I'm going to model a process in Salonis tool. This is my Salonis training environment. Once I enter here, I can see more options where I can click. When I click over here, I can see process repository where we can store the entire processes which have been modeled. I'll show again. I click on more. Now I can see a process repository. I click over here and it navigates to this tab where we can see a new category. I have added a demo with that, but unless I switch to edit mode on, I can't see the process models. Once I click on process models, we can see plus icon. Here, we can see two options, select file or process modeler. If we have an existing file, we can import the file, edit, and make the model accordingly. If we want to create the model from scratch, we can move the process modeler. It enters into the graphical representation tool. Here, on the left hand, we can see all the attributes and graphical tool that we can use. Here, we can see the tool I'm taking. I'm going to create a credit application workflow. Here, I'm going to add company, Lane's request for credit card. Now, I add review the request. I can add XOR gateways when we are going to take any decisions and finally we can end the process. Here, we have all the tools that we can use. Thank you.